I oftentimes uh, talk about this as just being self-aware. And that ability to be self-aware, that ability to be a learner becomes more and more important. And all of us have issues. We all do. Your trick as a leader is to figure out what your issue is and do something about it. Figure out how to mitigate it. And I've got a couple, I'm, and I share them with all my leadership classes. And mine was a learning process to be able to get there. Uh, from the time I got my first appraisal, so I was probably 24 years old, I was told, you can be defensive, Dave. What was my reaction? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get a couple of appraisals and you start to say, wait a minute, you know, I'm kind of justifying this. You come up with some more words around it. So I get to be about 39, 40 years old, and I'm in a meeting with a bunch of my peers. Um, a guy I know says something, I react. He says, geez, Dave, don't be so defensive. And I think to myself, this is my chance. I'm going to kind of dispel this, because I know people tend to think about it. So I turned to a buddy of mine in the, in the room. His name was Mark. So I said, well, Mark, geez, do you think I'm defensive? Mark, being a nice guy, said, no, Dave, I wouldn't say you're defensive. Um, you know, but I would say, if we say something negative about your organization, and we're not 100% correct, you will rip our lips off. <laughs> okay, that stuck with me, <laughs> right? That's one that stuck with me. Another one that I have is I'm decisive. So you would look at it and tend to think, geez, you know, CEO, decisive, business leader, decisive, isn't that what you want? Well, yes and no. Because if you have somebody who's decisive and driven to make decisions, you know, give me what you got, I'll help make your decision for you. The higher up you go, you can make some really, really bad decisions just because you haven't thought through the ramifications of what could go wrong. Okay, there's a 5% chance things could go wrong. How bad could it be? If it's really, really bad, take your time. If you don't have to make the decision till Friday, wait till Friday. So I've had to teach myself to do two things. One is on those big decisions make a preliminary decision, and then make sure we all come back again and go through all the same stuff again to make sure that I'm making a good call. And I've had to teach myself uh, to be very thoughtful about that. The second one is, especially given the first one, make sure that I surround myself with people who can disagree with me and do it in a way that's not going to elicit a defensive or emotional reaction from me. Those are two of mine. I'll guarantee you, you have some too. And especially if you've been smart and you go to smart school like Columbia, it's really easy to think you have none. But you got them. You got to figure out what they are. And you'll, your career will be impeded if you can't figure out what that is.